Well, there's a giant treasure hunt going on in Cape York, and it's been so successful, local rangers now have a collection of rock art that's almost too big to manage. Authorities are calling for extra resources to preserve their finds before it's too late. He's a Tamara Quinkin, good spirit. This secret rock art gallery is a fine example of Quinkin spirit painting. This place here is um, known as Clef Gallery. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what location it is. It's pretty sacred. Um, but, hey. <laughs> Rangers from Laura came to this site five years ago after local graziers tipped them off. We brought all the elders in the community out to this site. Um, not very many of them knew about it at that time. The old people that lived around the area and the paintings would um, basically their storyline and what they've seen. Right across the Cape, there are galleries documenting the life and beliefs of the first Australians. This is one of the easier sites to access. Getting here involves a lengthy off-road drive and a hike. Whoa! The search is a reconnection to culture. For us, um, we feel they're present from the old people and we can sense them. That's why before we came in, I actually sang out. Covered a few sites over here. Just an hour away, another ranger group near Cooktown is rediscovering history. They've found post-contact art like this strange engraving they're calling the wagon wheel. Coming across the sea and sort of light my eyes up because there's a different engraving altogether to all the other engravings I've seen out on country. In the last decade, these two ranger groups alone have documented more than 400 individual galleries. I just can't wait to go out and discover more. Eh? But there are challenges. The delicate paint has to be protected from bushfires, weeds and feral pigs. Hopefully stop a little from destroying all this beautiful art we got out here. And we've gone to sites and they've completely fallen. We, we can see the remains of, of paintings on rocks, but the site itself has completely collapsed. Local authorities insist more should be done. It's for all of Australia and the rest of the world to make sure that we protect and preserve these special places. It's a big job. The rangers around Laura say they've only surveyed a quarter of their land so far. Amelia Turzon, ABC News, Cape York.